Hi students, this is Mr. Naraj Prabhu from Neat Biology Academy. In this video, I am going to explain the animal kingdom, the topic phylum Ascalmythus round one in Neat level. It's from class 11 CBSC board and NCRT book. This phylum Ascalmindus, also called Nemahelmindus, and the term Ascalmindus proposed by Gehenberg in 1859. Now we can see what type of animals belongs to this phylum. This phylum consists of various worm like animals. What you are seeing now, it is termed as a filarial worms, which is a, it is an endoparasite, it lives inside our body. The nearby red blood cells you are seeing now. This is hookworm. This also lives inside our body. Maximum Ascalmindus, the endoparasite, which lives inside the animal body or human body and also it causes the disease also. This uh, Ascaris worm, male Ascaris and female Ascaris, this also lives inside our human body and causes the disease. What you are seeing now, a small worm which is present inside our human eye so that you can understand clearly these are all endoparasite. This worms termed as eye worms. So very few example I have shown. So you get, get the clear idea about Ascalmindus. Now let me discuss the general character of phylum Ascalmindus that is round worm. The term Ascalmindus means, Ascalmindus word come from Greek word, Ascal, as the meaning of the as round, round cavity. Helmindus means worms. So it indicate round worms. When you made a cross section of this Ascalmindus, you can get the round shaped circle, so called round worms. You have another term already I said Nama Helminthus. Nama means thread. Let us see some of the examples of uh, Skelminthus, common name and scientific name, uh, because so frequently in neat exam, sometimes they are giving scientific name, they are asking common name. Sometimes they are giving common name and they are asking the scientific name. So both I have given Ascaris, round worm, with Cheriria, common name filarial worms and uh, ancyclostoma hookworms endirobius pinworm trichuris webworm habitat that means the living place it ascalmindus lives everywhere most of the ascalmindus are endoparasite it lives inside the human body, animal body. Some are aquatic, some are free living, and some of them are terrestrial in habitat. The body shape of the phylum Ascalmindus, most of the animals' body shapes are round shape, cylindrical in shape without any segmentation, any division. Like Annelida, it does not have any segmentation. Symmetry, bilateral symmetry. We cut the body from top to bottom. We can divide that animal into two equal half. The level of organization, organ system level of organization. From the platyhel mindus onwards, the organ system level of organization started. So the ascal mindus level of organization also, organ system level of organization, they have a well developed mini system like a digestive system, a respiratory system, and all well developed. The germ layer. The germ layer have a three layers, so it terms as a triploplastic animal. Ectoderm, mesoderm, and the endoderms are present in the embryo. So the ascalmindus are termed as triploplastic animals. Body plan of the ascalmindus. Body plan of the ascalmindus is termed as a tube within tube type. That meaning, just this uh, outer body wall. It's just like a large tube shaped structure because it's a round worm, right? In cross section, it's look like a round worm. I mean, tube like structure. Inside the alimentary canal also a tube. So alimentary canal present as a small tube within the large tube. The large tube is a body wall. So the body plan termed as tube within tube type. That's for the body cavity. Pseudocelomate. Pseudocelomate means outer ectoderm in the embryo, inner endoderm. In between the ectoderm and the endoderm, see this is the ectoderm, ectoderm, 
and this is endoderm. In between the ectoderm and the endoderm, there is no mesoderms. Instead of mesoderms, there is a mesodermal pouches are scattered. See this round shape, circle shaped what I mentioned, this is under term is a mesodermal pouches. Such a type of body cavity termed as pseudocelomate. Well, the body parts, especially the anterior end. The anterior end of those Ascalminthus animal does not have proper head like structure. See that this is an anterior end of those animals. This is a male Ascaris, it's a female Ascaris. This anterior end does not have a proper head. So the cephalization absent. Cephalization means head formation. Head formation absent. Now the body wall of the Ascalminthus. The body wall consists of a three layer outer cuticle layer middle epidermis layer and inner muscular layer let me discuss the body wall first layer i mean outermost layer cuticle it's outermost layer it's made up of non-living cells and it is so thick because most of the ascalminthus are endoparasitic when it lives inside the host organism the host organism may have a digestive enzyme in order to escape from the digestive enzyme of the host the cuticle of the ascalminthus is very very tough and thick middle layer of uh, body wall epidermis that epidermis syncytial syncytial that means the cells of the epidermal cytoplasm have many nucleus instead of single nucleus it has many nucleus that is termed as a syncytial that's a middle muscular layer of the ascalminthus it is the innermost layer it's made up of only longitudinal muscles layer Now, almost general character over, let me discuss various system. First, digestive system. Digestive system of Ascalminthus is a complete type. That means the digestive system have two openings. One act as a mouth and another one act as anus. Plus, in addition to mouth and anus, it have a non-muscular intestine. The digestive system has muscular pairings also. Muscular pairings responsible for suck the food. Now the respiration. Respiration occurs by general body surface of the roundworm by simple diffusion mechanism. The respiratory system of roundworm H-shaped. It has excretory canal, excretory pores, and excretory organ. Excretory organ of roundworm is protonepridia. This protonepridia developed from a special type of large size cell termed as rinit cells. The main function of it remove the excretory waste product through excretory pores. The excretory product of roundworm is ammonia, but even though in some time the ascaris release urea also. Now the skeletal system, the skeleton absent in roundworm. So pseudocelomic fluid maintain the body shape. Instead of skeleton, the pseudocelomic fluid maintain the body shape. Such a type of uh, character is termed as hydroskeleton. Now let me see the nervous system of roundworm. Nervous system consists of many nerve rings as well as longitudinal nerve cord. The nerve rings considered as a brain of the roundworm. Ascalminthus have Three types of sense organ. Number one, tango receptor present on the papillae, and uh, ampids is a kind of hemoreceptor present in lips, and pasmid is a, also the kind of uh, hemoreceptor present in the tail. Now, the reproductive system of roundworm sexes are separate. Male ascaris, female ascaris are there, likewise. Other roundworm also, male females are separate, so they are diaceous, that means they show sexual dimorphism. They reproduce sexually. Now, the sexual dimorphism that means male ascaris and female ascaris, we can clearly distinguish. Male ascaris, small size with a curved end. I'll show you. See, this is a male ascaris. This male ascaris end have a curved end but in the case of uh, female ascaris the female ascaris have a large size and uh, does not have a curve in this end uncurved end 
Now the fertilization, that means the fusion of male gamete and female gamete occurs internally within the female body and the development is indirect. That means the skull means this have some larva stage. The larva change into adult. The larva and the adult may not be similar. The larval form of Ascalmindus is rhabdiform larva. Phylum Ascalmindus have two classes based on the sense organ. Number one, A pass media, and number two, pass media. Pass media is a kind of uh, chemoreceptor sense organ which is present in the tail. A pass media means the chemoreceptor in the tail is absent, and pass media means the chemoreceptor present in the tail the region is present. Let me discuss first the class A pass media. A pass media, they have a chemoreceptor present in the lips. That means they have ampits. Ampits is a kind of sense organ present in the lips, but they does not have any sense organ in the tail. So they don't have pasmid. Pasmid means a chemoreceptor present in the tail region. Example, whipworm. The second class is pass media. Pass media classes have a pasmid, that means a sense organ present in the tail, and was, as well as ampits. Ampits means the sense organ present in the lips. So they have a both sense organ in tail region as well as the lips region. Example, Ascaris. Thanks for watching. This is Prabhu Seravin, Neat Biology, Junior Doctor. Like it, share it, and put your comments in your comments box. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you.